Hey guys, today we're going to be comparing two different kinds of eBay quick releases. I remember screenshotting pics of the Insta. Grand. Both of the quick releases I have are slim quick releases, just because I have a longer hub and I want to... I don't want my wheel to stick out too far. So I got the cheap $18 quick release on eBay, no name brand, um, that everybody sells and just as you've probably seen online before, it's, it's really horrible. So I spent some more money and I got this one which is from VMS Racing, which I couldn't really find any reviews on. Um, but I have gotten other parts from BMS and they're actually, they actually seem to be quality and this actually has like a no play guarantee saying that there won't be play in your steering wheel. So I bought this one and I'm going to swap them out now and see which one is better. Okay, so this is the quick release that I had. It's just like one of the cheap ones that you can get on eBay. I have a cheap hub that was like $10, the quick release was $18 and it's been like this since the day I got it. The play is in the quick release, not the hub, but there is quite a bit of play, I don't know if you can see this, but like. Which seems like it would be really dangerous. I mean, it's not, it does the job of a quick release. I mean, it can come off. If you look at the way that it's made, really the only way that that would be dangerous would be like if one of these ledges broke or something like that and the steering wheel came off. But it seems to be pretty strong. The only complaint I have about these quick releases besides the play, I've had this one for almost a year now and it hasn't gotten any worse, but they only give you one screw, one connector for a, a horn, which you would kind of have to rig something up to set a horn up on this thing. Um, oh, the back broke on this one. I forgot about that when I dropped my steering wheel. But this is the new one, and you can see it's a little bit better quality, and it's got two horn things in there. So I'm going to try to wire the horn up eventually. I have to wire it up from underneath. So maybe I'll show you that later. Um, but for now, I'm just going to swap these out really quick and see if there's any play in this new one. All right, it's a little bit dark out now, but I got the new quick release on, and there is zero play at all. I mean, there might be a little bit in the hub maybe, but there's definitely no play at all in the quick release itself, which is awesome. The only complaint I have so far, which I think it'll probably break in, but it is really hard to turn this to release the steering wheel. I mean, like I had to use both hands and a lot of force to um, get it to lock into place. The only other issue that I have is actually now this is straight. So I'm gonna have to take the hub off and rotate it just that much and uh, then the wheel should be straight again. But I have to take the hub off anyway because I'm gonna wire up the horn. So I'll show you guys that next. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken out the quick release and I bolted the steering wheel directly to the hub with the bolt showing in there or the nut and I'm gonna loosen that up and then move the steering wheel around to pop the hub out of place and then I can unbolt the steering wheel from the hub and take the hub off as well and then I can wire up the horn. Okay, I loosened up that nut in there. Now all I gotta do is pull on the steering wheel from the different sides and kind of jiggle it around and try to pull that hub off. Now I only loosened it and moved it a little bit so that when the steering wheel breaks free it doesn't hit me in the face. The steering wheel's off and I took the column apart and now we're gonna look for the horn relay. Ignore all these wires, this is just for me wiring up my light bar switch, something else that I'm working on right now. Um, but if we come under here, under the fuse box, right there, that plug up there at the top with the blue wire in it is the horn relay. So I'm gonna unplug that and that's where we have to splice into. So after a bunch of messing around, I realized that the actual horn itself is bad, completely rusted, but I, I unplugged everything and I ran power straight to this and it doesn't work. So I'm gonna still do all of the wiring and I'm gonna test it with a test light. So that way, once I buy a new horn, I can just install it on the front and everything will be good to go. So I'll, I'll still show you guys how to wire it. All right, here's what I came up with. So this end, is going to plug into that plug underneath. And then down here on this end, I have a paper clip taped to it. This I'm going to bend to make contact with the back of the hub so that the horn works. All right, so it might be a little hard to see, but I threaded the screw in right here and it holds the paper clip in place. And then the paper clip is bent out. And now that just has to make contact to this metal part on the back of the hub here. So I'm gonna put this on. We can make sure that it's making contact to the correct spot. Look back. It is making contact. And it looks 
like. There we go. And that should work for the horn. And now this end just has to plug into this down here, but I'm gonna run it through the dash and then plug it into here. I have this horn ring right here. Um, this is where you would normally, you would normally bolt this between the quick release and the hub, and then your ground for the horn would plug in right here, but it doesn't fit with this quick release, so actually what I'm gonna do instead is I just have this little wire. Some hubs actually just have two wires, a ground and a power, this one doesn't, so I'm going to put the ground right here underneath this nut and then have it so that the horn can plug in right there. Okay, so what I've done here is I've hooked the ground of the test light up to the power that normally goes to the horn there. Um, and you can see that if I touch the ground, that lights up. So we can see that this is a good ground in here. So I hooked up this, because when the horn's grounded, that's when the horn beeps. So I just um, plugged these in together so they would make a complete ground. And now I'm going to test this green wire that's going to be plugged into the horn relay to make sure that it makes a complete circuit and that it's grounded properly. And it does. So we know that when the horn's replaced, the horn is going to work. Now I just have to hook up the quick release and the horn button and then test that this only lights up when we're pressing the horn button. I just want to be clear and show you guys that I did unplug those from each other. If you leave those plugged in like that and then put the quick release on without plugging these two wires in properly, um, the horn's just going to go off the whole time. So I unplugged those two wires and plugged them into the proper positive and negative on the quick release itself. And I'll go ahead and bolt this in. Now this might be a little bit hard to show you, um, but because I'm holding this together with one hand. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. If I beat the horn. See the light lights up, so completing the circuit. So now all I have to do is just plug this green wire in to this plug down here. This red and blue wire is where it plugs into. And then when I replace the horn, it should work. And there is no play in the steering or anything. It feels all really nice. So maybe I'll check up on this, but for now, I would say the VMS short hub quick release is probably just as good as the NRG short quick release and the NRG one is twice as much so this one was $50 you can get it on eBay I think you can get it from the VMS website but it's definitely high quality compared to the $20 eBay quick releases since my original horn broke I bought these online it came with two of them two different frequency horns for 10 bucks on eBay I figured it was better than buying a factory horn because it was cheaper and whatever these will look cool mount them in the grill I'm gonna paint these the same teal as the, uh, the other wheels so I'm gonna take the cages off and then I'll go ahead and paint them I got my horns all painted and mounted. I did, had to drill a hole on this side to mount it. Um, on the other side there was already a hole there. So now I just have to wire them up and we should be good to go. Nope, all the horns are done. Yeah, go ahead and beep it. It's loud. <laughs> and there you go. All right guys, that's the end of this video. Just wanted to give you a little update. I've been driving with the VMS quick release for around a month now, um, maybe like three weeks, but it has no play in it still. It's still perfect. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who's trying to get a cheap quick release. But I'm gonna end the video here. If you're looking for other stuff kind of like mine, feel free uh, to check out my friend's channel. It's Slowly But Surely Productions, I'll put it somewhere in here but they do all the same kind of stuff that I do they have a little bit more of a variety of cars so um, if you're interested uh, just go ahead and give them check them out subscribe whatever you would like um, but for now thanks for watching and peace I remember screenshot and pics of her insta ground and I took her to Milan trying to find out what she into uh, I was just looking for a girl for the winter to practice baby making on them lazy days and I kept her wet on them rainy days then I let her hang on